I'm going to finish this. Let me see if I can put this back up. I don't know what's happening, but where I'm at, the service is not very good. So sorry about that. Um, I hope you're able to hear this live or you were able to get it. I'm going to try to merge it together with the beginning part, but I just want to finish before they start cutting up again. Um, so the Bible says in Psalm 23, verse five, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over and that I just wanted to touch on because again, it's talking about the oil not running out. It's talking about the oil not running dry. Anointed my my cup runneth over. Just like I said yesterday, my cup is going to run over. It's going to overflow. Make room. We're making room so that we can get exactly what we were supposed to have all along. We're making room. Just like I said, the Shunammite woman um, I referenced yesterday, Elisha told her to go get the vats, go get the things that you need to fill up. I surmise that even if she got more vats, she would have had more oil. But still, the word says the oil stayed. The oil is going to stay. So do not be afraid in this season, in these final days of this challenge, because you you feel like, oh my gosh, like, is there going to be a letdown when this is over? Like, you know, you're, 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 you're feeling your beats, everything is going well, like, or even if it's not, you're like, you have the resilience and everything to stay committed and stay strong. But you're like, man, if, if when this is over, like, am I going to be able to stay on it? Like all the things that I got, all the mental clarity, all the space that was built within my mind, um, in my heart, in my life, in my friends. Circle, all of that. Am I going to be able to sustain it? The answer is yes, because like today's word is the oil stayed. Everything that you've learned, everything that you've committed to, everything that you focused on, everything that was able to shift in your favor is going to stay. It has been added unto you. Okay. So I want you guys to be excited that you're going to go into your December with a whole new way of doing things, a whole new mindset everything new. Okay. Everything new, new. So it says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Surely. So this whole, this, this whole 28 days and at 31 we're done is the surely it's sure it's confident. It's bona fide. It's set. It's signed, sealed, and delivered. It is going to follow you because he doesn't add a thing to take it away. So what he what he's done in these 30 days, it's there. You have it. The mental real estate is uncluttered. The new focus, the new resilience, the the understanding of the call and the vision that you have, the boldness, it's all there. It's here to stay. The oil stayed, it says in 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 2 Kings verse 4. The oil um chapter 4 verse 6 and the oil stayed. Six, excuse me. So surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness broken down means good, rich, valuable in estimation. You, the goodness, the value, your value, your valuableness is going to follow you, is going to stay with you. Because like it said in the verse right before, he anointed your head with oil. You, in this season, you recognize who you are. You're a sent one. You're not in that company for no reason. You're not in that family for no reason. You're a sent one. The, the, the oil is on your head. Your cup is running over because now you know who you are and can't nobody stop you. And like we just read, the verse above that is his rod and his staff is going to come for you. So he's going before you. He's handling business. He's slaying the giants before you. As long as you're in position because things have that visual again. Your father is standing there and you're, you're the child right behind him. If somebody swing, you're not getting hit. And he got the rod and the staff. So he's knocking heads off on your behalf. So you're walking through. You're walking through chilling. Like, yeah, my, my daddy goes before me. He's handling everything. He made that crooked path straight. He's running down on the people that have been trying to run down on me because I'm in position. Because you got to be in position in alignment with him so that you don't get hit by, by life's weathered storms. But as long as you're in position, he has no, there's nothing else that he can do. There's nothing else, excuse me, that the enemy can do to try to defeat you, to try to come against you. Because you're in position. So who's going who's gonna to take them hits first? We know God not taking no hits. 
he was going to hit back first because he's not taking no hits. The enemy is taking all the hits when God is in front of you. So just know that goodness and mercy is going to follow you. And um, another definition of, the, of goodness, appropriate, becoming, glad, happy, prosperous. That's what he is. That is what is following you. Prosperity, goodness, mercy is kindness. It says goodness and mercy. Mercy is kindness and faithfulness. He is going to be faithful to finish the word that he gave you. If he put that vision inside of you, he's going to bring it to fruition. He's going to bring it to its fullness. He just needs your alignment. He needs your yes. He needs your commitment to the vision and the plan. To understanding that it's not woe is me. It's not why am I in this family. It's not why am I at this job. It's not why do I have to do this. It's I get to. And my daddy is going before me to handle this with me. Because his rod and his staff comfort me. And they go with me. He goes before me to open. He What does the scripture say in um, Revelation? He set before me an open door. Before comes first. He spoke, like I said in another life, he spoke first. The enemy speaks second. The enemy is counterfeit. Is the counterfeit. God gave you the vision and then the enemy is over here trying to slice and dice it. And you've been letting him. Because you're not girding yourself up. You're not securing the word. You're not securing your life in the vision. You're not taking care of this baby like you would if you gave birth to a child. If you gave birth to a child, would you let anybody and everybody just come by the house and come touching your child and hold your child and do whatever? That's what some of you guys do. You didn't let every stranger in to come touch your baby, your vision, your personal business, your personal life, your biggest dreams, your, your secret places, your heart's desires, your sensitivities. You done, you done shared it with Tom, Dick, Harry, and Harriet. Now you wonder why you're so discouraged because they're over here plotting and scheming against you. Because they should have never been a part of the vision to begin with. But it's okay. Because we are redeemed and let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. Okay. So I just want to wrap up here. And... It says, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That is the last verse of Psalm 23. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And that's where we are right now. And this truthfully is where he always wanted you to be. This is where you were supposed to be all along in the house of the Lord forever. Because that's where you're going to dwell that's where you're going to find your rest. That's where you're going to find your peace. That's where you're going to find your safety. That's where you're going to find your favor. That's where you're going to find your protection. That's where you're going to find your peace. So I just want you guys to make sure that you understand that what what we've done, what we've created for our lives in these last 28 days. And if you're new to this challenge, please go back and watch the other days of um, my uh, November challenge. It's been super duper powerful. Um, you will not regret spending the time watching those YouTube videos. Please go subscribe to my YouTube page and watch those videos because it's been powerful. You can restart this come, you know, December 1st. You can watch this at any point. It's evergreen, literally. God's word is eternal. It's not going to get stale. And he gave me these words every single day. That's why there's no set time necessarily, also because of my schedule. But I I literally wait on the Lord to tell me, what do you want me to share every single day? I wish I could sit and, you know, come up with a week's worth of the content on it, but I can't. That's not how he's giving it to me. He's literally giving it to me like fresh man every single day. So what I'm giving you for this challenge every day is literally fresh manna from heaven. Today, when he gave me the oil stayed, it's because we're at the end of this challenge. And I know how it feels sometimes when you're at the end of a really good thing and you're so excited and you're like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. And then it's like the party has been great. And you're like, dang, but I don't want it to end. And then you start getting antsy and it's like, you're not even enjoying the moment. You're not enjoying the present. You're not even enjoying the blessing of what it is because you're already worried about tomorrow, which you shouldn't be anyway. Um, cause you can't add an inch to your life with worrying, but you really need to just be still 
because the oil is going to stay. What he's blessed you with, as long as you're stewarding it, as long as you're in position, as long as you're recognizing that you are a sent one. Remember, day 15 was so powerful. It was pivotal. 30 days in November. So day 15 was the sucker punch. Like, you could have you could have played 1 to 14, but day 15, you have to have gotten clear on your assignment. None of this is by accident. If you've made it this far, you're not by accident. You're not by happenstance. It don't matter if your parents didn't know you were coming. God knew you were coming because you were sent here, okay? You were sent here. You are a sent one. You are the difference. You are the, the, the disruptor of your family. You are the disruptor at your job. Stop being regular. Stop thinking that you have to be like everybody else. There's enough, there's, there's enough zombies out here, okay? That's not, that's not what you're supposed to be doing right now. So let's focus today. Today is day, oh, I meant to put day 28, my bad. Um, that's because the live got cut off, Lord have mercy. But anyway, y'all know what today is. Today is day 28. Um, day 28, the oil stayed. What you've done, what you've been gifted, what you've been grafted into these last 28 days is going to stay. You don't have to worry about it because you're in position. The blessings have arrived. Yesterday, I told you to make room. Like I said in the story with the Shunammite woman and Elisha, he told her, go get all the vessels. Get, get the vessels because it's about to get filled with oil and you're about to have more than you're going to need that even your children will be blessed. And I, like I said, if she would have gotten more vessels, I'm sure her children's children's children would have been blessed, would have had enough because she was able to still go sell some now, make some money and still had enough to live off of and her children live off of. Okay. So that's what's coming to your house. As long as you stay in position and in alignment, as long as you start, so you keep showing up for your life. As long as you start representing who you are everywhere he sends you, because you're not going places to sit in the back. You're not going places to blend in. You're in places and spaces that he's called you to, to show up because you, somebody needs what you have. Somebody doesn't need you on mute in the back trying to fit in and be comfortable. No, that season is over. That time is over. If you want this oil to stay, you have to commit to doing it his way. You have to commit to the plan for your life, for the vision for your life. And it's okay. You may fall. You may stumble. We all fall short of the glory. But guess what? His helping hand is right there. What did we just read? His rod and his staff, they comfort you. Though I may walk through the valley of the shadow, I will fear no evil. I'm not fearing nobody. Because guess what? My daddy is going before me and he's cutting giants heads off on my behalf because I'm in position. That's what you need to be decreeing and declaring over your day. There is no giant. These are all grasshoppers in the land. I'm, I'm not worried about nobody because I'm a sent one. And for sent ones, God takes care of that. God takes care of everything. Because where there is obedience, there is protection. The only time that the, the, the in, in every Bible story that people were getting their heads was rolling and stuff because they were out of order. So make sure that you're focused in this season. The oil is not going to run dry. You're going to have everything that you need to have to continue this in the month of December. Everything that you've done this month is, has been added unto you. Everything that you need, you already have. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, where you were supposed to be this whole time. You've been restored. You've been reinstated. So move and act like it, friends. I'm excited. Excuse me. I'm excited for you. Please go back and watch this live when I upload it. It might be in two parts if I cannot figure out how to merge them because the live cut off. Um, but that's how you know it was good because the enemy was big mad, but it's okay. Um, I just want you guys to be clear that the oil will stay. Everything that you've worked on this month, these past 30 days is going to stay, okay? It is going to remain. It is going to remain. Be sure about that. Be sure. He doesn't add something to you to take it away. The word says that the gifts are without repentance. So he's not, he's gifted you with everything. Like I said in one of the other lives, he's gifted you with everything. When he created you, he formed and fashioned you with his own hands. He called you good. We already talked about what good was. Good was prosperous. Good was rich, valuable in estimation. You are valuable in estimation. So there is nothing that you need to be worried about. 
There is nothing. It's already been provided for. Everything you need has already been provided for. And if you feel like you don't have it, go, what did I say on like three days ago? Slow down and go back and get the next vision. Go back and get the next instruction. Excuse me. Get the next instruction. Because sometimes when things get cloudy, it's because you need to go back and get the next instruction. Because the, 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 it, it, it's, it, it needs to be, you need to go re-up. You need to go spend some more time. You need to go get some clarity. Don't keep running when you're not clear because that's how you get lost, okay? When you keep driving and you don't really know where you're going, what happened, you get lost, okay? So we're not, we're not doing that anymore. We're putting the old things behind us. We're letting go of the old habits that don't serve us, that we've, we've taken on in our life to please other people, to think we're doing good in a situation. We're not doing good anymore. We're doing God because that's the only way that we're going to get a rich reward. And I'm here for the rich reward. Like I said the other day, I don't want to be putting my hands on anything. Because if I'm putting my hands on stuff to make stuff happen, I got to keep doing it. And now my arms are going to get tired, okay? I want God to do this work for me as long as I'm in, in alignment. Like I gave you the uh, analogy and then I'm hopping off. The analogy I gave you guys was, like it says, um, in thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I will fear no evil. Well, let me read it all. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. They, the rod and thy staff, they comfort me. What did we say? Thy rod and the analogy that I gave is your father standing in front of you and you're the child behind him and you're telling him, look what they've been doing to me. Look what this, these people been saying to me. Look at all the stuff that they've been accusing me of. Look at how my family treats me. Look at how this job treats me. Look at how I've been treating myself. Lord, help me. And he's standing up. It's like your father standing up and you done told on the bully. You done told on the big bad wolf. Now your parent is like, come on, let's go. Let's go. We about to go handle it. And you standing like, do, do, do. Because my daddy about to go hand. He about to hand you. <clears throat> he about to hand y'all your life in a second. Yes, because that's how much he loves you. That's how much he wants the best for you. That's how much he's willing to bet on what he put in you. He's betting on what he put in you. Come on. Like, I need you guys to really understand this. And I'm, I'm starting my, my um, business Bible study next month because I'm actually upset at how we are representing God as entrepreneurs and people of God. And we don't have what we should have. He supplied us. We're supposed to be abundant. And we're lacking. The world is out here winning. Yes, they may be in eternal, but we don't have what we need. We're out here being the tail and not the head. And it says we're supposed to be the head and not the tail. We need to be empowered again. And we need the only way we're going to do that is by going back to the word. Not from good quotables. Not from, you know, superstitions and whatever other foolishness. It's only going to be by the word of God because nothing else can stand up to this truth. Because this is the only truth. This is everlasting. By no other name does anything tremble. So this is what we need to get back to, to empower you. I can't even tell you how many people have been saying how helpful this has been, getting them back to their focus, getting them back to their passion, their first love, because all of that has been the desires and visions and, and what God placed in you to begin with. And the world, the world has muddled it up. The world has, has disintegrate, disintegrated it, but no more. We coming back. The oil is staying. It's here to stay. Call yourself blessed. Call yourself highly favored. Make room. Apply pressure because this is what's going down this week. Pressure has been applied. That was day 23. It's supposed to be 28, but you know, the lab was acting up. But today is day 28 of our challenge. We have two days left. Go back and watch this live. It was super powerful. Um, just know that everything that you've done this month is going to remain. It is going to remain. So keep faith, keep hope in what you're going to create come December and how you're going to take off in January because that's what this was about. This challenge was about renewing your mind and getting back into position so that you can take what's rightfully yours. We're not leaving any crumbs on the table in 2023. We're taking back everything that was ours and we're running with it in 2024. So everybody should be scared, okay? Because it's get down to lay down season. Everybody who's been playing in your face should be like, oh, what's going on with her? Oh, wow. She, she's, oh, okay. 
Yeah. If you're not getting some new looks, then you're missing, okay? Go back Go back into prayer class. Go back. Because people should be realizing that, oh, something's different about you. And even if they don't, as long as you know that you're showing up how you're supposed to and you're not bringing your representative, but you're bringing the true person that's supposed to have been there all along, then we're doing good. So go back and watch this live. Super powerful. Like all of the other days of this challenge, there will be on my YouTube page, Candace Idahan. This may be in two parts because the live was acting up and I had to restart it. Please watch both. If I can merge it, I will. If I can't, <laughs> watch both. Um, we have two days left, friends. Cannot wait to see what God does in these next two days. Cannot wait to see what we have created in these last 30 days. It's been power packed and full. And like I said, I am doing and living this out just as much as you guys are. I am not a or teachings. He's like I said, he's giving them to me first and I'm giving them to you. So I'm being sat down and talked to too. Okay, it's back. All right, let me get off before this thing starts playing again. Go watch, subscribe to my YouTube page, send it to a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. Click the link in my Instagram bio if you want to get the newsletters that I send out. I will be sending them out regularly. Um, I mean, I send them out once a day, but I'll also keep you updated on when the business Bible study starts. And even if you don't have a business, you're put on this earth to handle business. So you can still join it, okay? If you need a refreshing of a word, still join. If you really want to get back into your Bible or understand your Bible or understand, come to the business Bible study. It will only be on YouTube. I may post snippets on Instagram, but it's going to be on YouTube. So go to my YouTube page, Candace Idahan. It's my name on every single platform. Um, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. I cannot wait to see what you guys created in these 30 days. Again, if you want to be a part of my email list so that you find out what is going on, please click the link in my Instagram bio and sign up and subscribe for my newsletter. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page. Go back and watch this live. Watch all the other lives. They're going to bless your life. They're going to help you get unstuck. They're going to take you to the next level. And I can't wait to hear your testimonies and what you do, what you've created um, in these 30 days. I'll see you guys tomorrow.